Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the 2021 Jaguar F-Type, running every option available by the manufacturer to find out if it's worth it. If you find this video useful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, subscribe. I'll be using a random zip code for the build. Please feel free to drop yours in the comment section for my next video. All right, so Jaguar F-Type. This is a um, offering from Jaguar. It's sporty. It's compact. It's cool. I, I mean, me personally, I think it looks really cool. And it, to me, it is uh, something that you would probably look at maybe if you've owned a Porsche or maybe you want to try something different. To me, the Jaguar F-Type uh, checks a lot of boxes as far as performance, uh, the level of comfort, uh, sportiness, handling, uh, so on and so forth. So in this video, we're going to take a look and see what's out there and see what uh, they have to offer as far as the F-Type. We'll just do a quick overview and then we'll get into the build. So Jaguar F-Type, uh, just some quick highlights here. So design, overall, I think the design is awesome. It's not too over the top. Um, I think it says just enough. The styling is it, just enough. It's just the right amount. It's just not overdone. Um, I, I, to me, I think it's a comfortable ride. It's not going to beat you up and it offers enough, uh, sportiness performance and you know, what have you. And so like, I think it's relatively comparable to uh, a Porsche 911, uh, each offering, um, you know, strength, strengths and weaknesses. But I think that as far as just, uh, competitive nature, uh, the F type is something to consider if you're looking for um, a vehicle uh, similar to a Porsche, it does offer um, some some nice uh, te te technology and, and those bits. And so, I mean, I mean, overall, this is a great looking car. It's just the right amount. Um, so on this on this uh, example, uh, quad pipes, um, I mean, it looks awesome. There's uh, there's there's quite a bit to talk about here, and it looks like um, there's a, there's enough to offer. So we'll just get into some of the features. So uh, daytime running lights, uh, performance. It can go. It has a, a V8 50 V8 up to 575 horsepower, which that's that's you know that's enough. And this is a smaller vehicle, so. Uh, I could assume that it, it has enough get up and go um, technology and entertainment. Uh, and when we get into the build, we'll go into uh, uh, all of the different kind of options that they're offering as far as uh, color choices, wheels, um, you know, creature comforts, bells and whistles. Um, two different flavors here, hard top. Uh, or if you want something uh, a little bit more exciting, they do offer convertible. So I think this is one thing that overall, this is one thing that they got right. There's different levels, uh, different trim levels. Um, there's a hard top, there's a soft top. So when you're actually going to purchase or build something like this, this is something that uh, the Germans do very well. There's different varieties. So here with the F-Type, uh, I think this is something else that just kind of helps it uh, stand out a bit and makes it, um, you know, worth looking at. Uh, so again, here's just another shot of the uh, uh, side profile and it looks great. So we'll go ahead and get into the build. Uh, I went ahead and pre-built this. But again, when you're getting into uh, some of the features and some of the things that they're offering. Uh, this is another thing that sets this apart. It's just the number of items out there that you can do. Um, like I said, I went ahead and pre-built uh, this particular version, but I, I wanted to mention that uh, also this can get pretty pricey. So I went with the uh, uh, Icy White, which has a satin finish. Uh, again, I touched on uh, wheel types. There's several versions that you can do out there. To me, these look pretty awesome, especially against the white. Uh, as far as the roof, 
uh, only a few options there. Um, for this one, I, I went with the tan. Uh, so for visuals, there's some other things that they offer here. Um, on this particular build, we went with the uh, black design, which is 2,500. So now we'll touch on interior. And again, this is, uh, so, I mean, when you're at this price point and when you're catering to this kind of market and you're getting into these kinds of details, um, this is the part where, hey, you have unlimited money. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, you know, add and do and pick and choose all the items um, and, and down to the smallest detail. So uh, this is something that uh, Jaguar is pretty good at. For this interior, I went with red, which, you know, maybe you might not go with that particular color. Uh, if there's something else that you like, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Um, headliner, we went with uh, fiber. So there's um, also some veneers, a few choices out there, but you know, carbon fiber, that's that to me, that's the way to go. So I'll stop here and just talk a bit about the dash and basically the cockpit and as a driver, um, and as, as, and at this price point, it's nice to see that, um, there's all the buttons that you need, uh, relatively close on the steering wheel. I'm glad to see uh, a digital dash, which is for the most part where most luxury markets are going. Uh, I like to also see the big screen, the navigation, um, everything that you need on that size screen. It looks like they've kept the. Um, as, as far as the climate controls, their actual buttons, which is great. But when it comes to creature comforts, bells and whistles, um, they do this very well. So this is something that they're pretty good at. And it's, again, this is relatively speaking in comparison to, um, uh, other options out there. I think that, um, as far as just, uh, Jaguar. Uh, they've done well with this. They're pretty good at it. And it's something to consider uh, when you're in the market uh, for a high powered uh, sports vehicle. So there's just some other options out there that uh, I went ahead and, and, and picked uh, park assist. Um, I mean, at this price point, as far as technology and safety features, there's no question that uh, a lot of this stuff should already be included, but um, in, in some cases it's not. Um, there's some other uh, interior accessories that I went ahead and already optioned for. Umbrella holder, uh, luggage retainer, okay, cool, whatever. Uh, paddle shifters, that's pretty awesome, but that's expected. Here's another shot of all the other wheel packages that they offer. So this is actually quite a bit. I was actually surprised to see all the items that they offered here. But in any case, uh, once you've gone through that and you know, you, you've built this and you have this, uh, one of one, uh, Jaguar F type. Um, so again, the base price, just to open the door, you're looking at around 62, the total cost to add every option available that we have here came out to 148, which is a difference of $86,000. That's a whole car inside a car. That that's quite a bit. Uh, but is this worth it? Let's keep the conversation going. Please add a comment, uh, LSS to the channel, and thank you.